Welcome to the webinar, BRCGS, Issue 8, Food Safety Culture. This presentation takes a look at the British Retail Consortium's Global Standard, or BRCGS, for Food Safety, Issue 8, and its latest changes. It also helps you get started with building a food safety culture and evaluating your progress in reaching your goal. Do you know how you can ensure a strong food safety culture? and how to get started with assessing and measuring your organizational food safety culture? If you want to find answers to these questions and more information, you are in the right place. Let's begin with the evolution of food safety. Food safety has long been a priority for food and beverage companies. That said, recent regulatory and auditing environments are leading to a deeper dive into approaches and practices that enhance the quality of foods. Government oversight and inspection is only part of the picture. The focus now is turning toward the manufacturer's cultural footing. Although many manufacturers have already set the tone with changes to the BRCGS Issue 8 mandates, a food safety culture is no longer voluntary. It's now a compulsory requirement. Yet the concept can be difficult because culture is inherently a reflection of attitudes and behaviors. Moving forward with culture as a compulsory requirement begins with defining and determining that culture, which can be difficult. The BRC Global Standard was the first standard recognized by the Global Food Safety Initiative, or GFSI, an organization founded in 2000 to harmonize food safety standards. The GFSI benchmarks existing food standards against guidelines established by retailers food manufacturers, and food safety experts to increase the transparency and efficiency of supply chains, minimize costs by reducing audit duplication, and provide assurance of safe food for consumers. The BRCGS and its subsequent updates are the result in part of such industry-wide collaboration. Regular updates to the BRC global standards continue to reduce the burden of duplicate audits of certified sites. Changes to the standard reflect the latest thinking in food safety. Issue 8 is a response to continued alignment with GFSI benchmarks and potential implications of the U.S. Food Safety Modernization Act, or FSMA. One pronounced change in Issue 8 is the encouragement to develop a product safety culture. Although manufacturers might think their current food safety culture meets the mark, today's auditable and regulatory environment holds them more accountable than ever. It's important to look at what's new and relevant in the BRC Global Standard because the regulation sets new expectations for the involvement of management. According to the new standard in Issue 8, food safety or quality managers can no longer hold the lead when it comes to leading and formulating a food safety culture. Senior management are called to the forefront to engage because the standard observes the product safety culture which prevails at the site is fundamental in the ongoing management of product safety. Clause 1.1.2 states senior management shall define and maintain a clear plan for the development and continuing improvement of a food safety and quality culture. Clause 1.1.3 expands on the concept by requiring senior management to define and maintain a clear plan for the development and continuing improvement of a food safety and quality culture. Clear objectives must be defined to maintain and improve the safety, legality, and quality of products. Another change is reflected in the review process, which is the addition of two new points. Clause 1.1.4 states that management should learn the reasons for objectives not being met and use them as the basis for setting future objectives. The second point clarifies that HACCP, food defense, and food fraud should be included in the scope of the review meetings. Clause 1.1.5 states monthly meetings should be set up and provide a forum for reporting and dealing with food safety concerns. Issue 8 clarifies requirements for reporting and addressing issues relating to product safety that require immediate action. And also, the new Clause 1.1.6 establishes the need for a confidential reporting system to enable staff to report concerns. With senior management on board, it's important for them and the safety team to take a look behind the scenes. 
all employees from the operational manager's office to the janitorial staff are responsible for the safe production of food. Besides providing a process for reporting concerns, as the BRC Global Standard requires in Clause 1.1.6, a successful food safety culture holds an expectation that employees are not only obligated but are comfortable raising issues relevant to food safety. One of the ways to foster employee engagement is to maintain a visible food safety culture. Investments in technology that enforce food safety makes a graphic statement that the company is committed to consistent food safety practices. Employees should recognize that senior management is fully committed to promoting food safety, and the overall company attitudes and behaviors that support food safety will be sustained. Just as manufacturing processes evolve for greater efficiency, an effective food safety environment is never static. It requires a commitment across senior leadership and the entire organization toward continual assessment and improvement. An effective food strategy must be assessed, planned, implemented, and re-evaluated repeatedly to ensure audits meet standards. To begin, Assess your current food safety culture to identify your company's strengths and weaknesses and examine food safety activities. To measure those strengths and weaknesses, consider using a specialized tool. The BRC Global Standards Food Safety Culture Excellence Module is a unique solution for the measurement, analysis, and improvement of organizational culture highlighting an organization's strengths and weaknesses with a measurable score and analysis provides a baseline. If repeated annually, this tool compares the success of ongoing investments and changes. Companies should develop a plan to continue engagement and conduct periodic reviews. Focus on areas such as systems. Can my processes and procedures be updated? not only for greater efficiency, but also to improve product safety? Employees, am I giving them the best training available so that they can recognize potential food safety issues? Do they feel comfortable bringing concerns to me? Tools, am I using the most up-to-date equipment, such as analytical and inspection equipment, to prevent food safety-related issues? Structure, can I create a schedule for ongoing assessments, information gathering, and risk analysis? The effectiveness of a company's food safety plan that helps drive a food safety culture is verified by internal audits. BRCGS rephrases the internal audit program to add clarity. At a minimum, the program should include at least four different audit dates spread throughout the year. Risk determines the frequency with which each activity is audited. All activities must be covered at least once each year, including HACCP or food safety plan, including the activities to implement it, prerequisite programs, food defense and food fraud prevention plans procedure, and procedures implemented to achieve the standard. It's easy to get lost in the woods, especially when dealing with the interpretation of specific clauses in the BRCGS, and also with a concept as broad and open to definition as culture. To break through those woods, there are tips to keep in mind to clearly develop and support a culture around food safety. Don't confuse a food safety program with a food safety culture. A food safety culture is a reflection of the attitudes and behaviors of employees who carry out the manufacturing processes. Their awareness and attention is the key to reducing food safety issues, be it allergen control, labeling control, foreign body detection, or microbial contamination. A commitment to food safety by senior management not only demonstrates a company value, it serves as a constant example for employees to follow. Use communication between management and employees to establish trust so that employees feel empowered to speak up if they have safety concerns. Strive for behavior-based approaches rather than system-based steps. While processes can and should be put in place to enhance food safety, for example, the quality checks, a food safety culture is a way of life. Before we go, let's take a few moments to sum up. The only certainty in life and in food manufacturing is change. BRCGS Issue 8 raises the bar for food safety and places it clearly in the hands of senior management 
charged with enhancing and ensuring their organization's food safety culture. Manufacturers are encouraged to assess their current culture, make improvements, and then review the effectiveness of those improvements. The expectations align more closely with FSMA, so if followed and adhered to, excellence in meeting the standard provides a solid foundation for meeting FDA's requirements. Ultimately, it's up to the leaders of the organization to keep product safety at the forefront by example, through communication, and by attention to detail. If you wish to learn more about building a food safety culture, please visit the link shown on screen. Thank you, and if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest product inspection trends, just follow us on social media, connect with us on LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter at Eagle X-Ray, Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.